Ashley on Southern Frugal Mama. That was weird. What are we gonna have for the next video? What's the budget? Here she is. I can open it. Nine dollars. We're gonna be working with nine bucks. Hello everybody, what is up? Oh, it's the the lighting is so bad. I apologize, but the sun is like it's it's fine. Um, <laughs> Can I bought the sun? Okay, <laughs> we're gonna go into Ingles and we're gonna shop for our nine dollar make it to payday budget. And I'm going to Ingles, but I don't know if I can find everything there because you guys know how I roll. I I shop multiple stores in this little one square that we have, so I might go to multiple stores, but that's not extra gas for me because it's all right beside of each other. So I'm going to do my regular shopping like I would if I really only had $9 to make it to payday to feed my family with. So let's go into Ingles and let's see if we can find some good deals on some meat. Yep, we had to come to Walmart. We are back. I went to Ingalls and I went to Woolly World. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I found a really good deal on chicken at Ingalls, 98 cents a pound. I got this pack for $1.49 and this one for $1.34. Then I went to Wally World down the road, just a bit, it wasn't even a mile. And I got this lemon pepper wing sauce and this is gonna go further than just this meal. And I got some sweet potato fries. My total was $8.23 before tax. So after tax was $8.88 cents right under nine bucks i figured we would do a little cheap budget wing night with fries but sweet potato fries as you guys know i do not want to use anything from my pants ah! <laughs> i hit my funny bone on a bowl oh, okay <laughs> oh, anyways you guys know I don't like to use anything for my pantry <laughs> in these Make It To Pay Day videos. Not everybody has what I have in my pantry. Now, if you don't have a pantry where you have spices, stored oils, I encourage you to start one because it will help you in tough times like you wouldn't even believe. There is nothing worse than having bland, gross food because you don't have any seasonings. <laughs> I mean, there's worse things, I'm just saying. So, you've seen what I got. Now, for anybody, I like to say this in every video just in case somebody, this is the first one that they've watched. If you're not familiar with the series I'm doing, the Make It to Payday series. Um, I decided to do this. I put a numbers 3 through 12 in a bowl and I've been drawing them out of the bowl randomly. I don't know what budget I'm getting before I draw it. And I decided to do this because not everybody knows how much money they're going to have left when they're having a bad week and you have one day left to payday and you're trying your hardest to feed your family on what you got. So I'm just picking out random numbers because you never know how much you're going to have. So I'm treating this the same. Today we got $9. $9 is a pretty hefty budget in my opinion. But you know, sometimes it's all you got. And if you don't have stuff in your cabinet to help suffice, if I use things that I had in my pantry for these videos, 
I can make this $9, $12, whatever I'm using, I can make it stretch so much further. But where I'm trying not to use anything in my pantry, it makes it a little tighter. So I want people to understand that. I'm not using pantry items. Makes it smaller. <laughs> Some people are asking me like, that's all you did with $12? Yeah, that's all I do because I have to buy the pantry items I'm using as well. I have to buy the oils with, with the $12 or the $9 that I'm using. I have to buy the seasonings with it because I'm not using anything in my cabinets. Okay. <laughs> so, I decided that I was going to have like, I think there, is there six legs? There's five or six legs. I can't tell. Five maybe? Five and one, six and other. I don't know. But we're going to do like a cheap wing night and we're going to have some sweet potato fries on the side fries have went up so much these used to be a dollar 68 a bag now they're 328 <sighs> inflation you can kiss my rump and since like i said i had to buy my seasoning for the chicken this stuff is bomb.com have you ever tried the lemon pepper sauce the wing sauce it's really good so and if you don't like lemon pepper they have 10 different flavors you can choose from if you don't like the lemon pepper or heck you could just get a bottle of barbecue sauce and use barbecue sauce but i like to keep it a little different we're using lemon pepper and you can do this also in your you can do this in your oven i'm gonna do mine in the air fryer because i like the way that it makes my legs or thighs what have you it makes it crispy but you can do it in the oven if you don't have an air fryer you can do it in the oven easily you just have to turn it so let's get started on making this dinner because we hungry okay i'm gonna prepare my wing sauce since now normally in any other situation and if i could use my pantry items i would season the chicken up first with some dry like garlic powder paprika but i don't have any of that i'm not using that in this video this is going to be my pre-seasoning while i cook my chicken and after they're done i'm going to roll it in this as well because this is the only seasoning that i have i'm going to put all of my chicken legs in the bowl And if you're wondering, I don't pre-wash my raw chicken. It, um, people wash it to get bacteria and things like that off of the chicken. But I have read numerous times that it is actually worse to wash it. It spreads the bacteria. So I don't wash it and it's going to cook in the oven. Heat kills bacteria. And water doesn't kill bacteria. So if you're washing it hoping that it gets rid of the bacteria it's not it's just washing it and putting it all over your sink <laughs> water doesn't kill bacteria but heat does okay now i'm going to pour probably a third of the bottle over this give all of these a good toss because i want them covered with seasoning covered man that lemon pepper smells so good already and it's just on raw chicken i have my liner in my air fryer and i want to just lay these in here the best i can i hope they all fit if they all don't fit i can cook them yeah, they're all, no, I'm going to put these in the fridge and then cook these first. Actually, you know what I want to do? I'm going to cook these in the air fryer, then I'm going to do these in the oven to show you how to do both. Yes. Okay, I'm going to stick these in my air fryer on the chicken setting. And halfway through, I'm going to flip them. I'm going to put these in just an oven safe dish. You can use a cheat pan, whatever. And we are going to cook these in the oven for those of you who don't have an air fryer. Heck yes. Actually, I'm going to cook these on 400 because that's what my air fryer is cooking the chicken on with a chicken setting. So, I want to do that. Stick these in there and we'll see which one gets done faster. 
Hi, it's me. I'm totally afraid of raw chicken, especially bone-in chicken. It like totally freaks me out. So, I don't know how long it's going to take for it to cook in the oven because I just keep checking it. And when I see the skin kind of pull away from the leg drum, the bone, that's when I know it's done. I'll show you. That's how I know it's done. Some people might say that's overcooked. I don't because bone-in chicken freaks me out and I don't want it to be raw. I'm just going to cook my sweet potato fries. Just I'm using my toaster oven, but you can use your oven. I am flipping the oven chicken. Oops. Okay. Cook about 20 more minutes. And if it looks done, I'll get it out. <laughs> Here's our air fryer chicken. I think she's done. Do you see how, you see how it's pulling away from the bone right there? That's how I know it's done. And dang, this smells good. Colin, do you smell it? Get over and sniff it. I said to smell it. You can't smell any? Oh, he's got stuffy nose. I forgot he's got stuffy nose right now. Okay, so I'm going to call these done. I do like this wing night or something. I like to serve them in these little things just because it feels good. It helps the aesthetic. This is just for funsies. I've had these baskets for, gosh, probably 10 years. And I just put a little bit of parchment paper or whatever I have. And it just, it's just fun. Just fun. Here are the air fried wings. I'm going to go ahead and sauce these up while I'm waiting for the oven. Just a little bit of sauce is all they need. And we're just going to toss them until they're coated. Tell me those don't look bomb. I took the chicken out. It's, it's been done for a second. Now I'm going to toss this and the sauce too. You need. I'm gonna toss it. $9 dinner is served. We have sweet potato fries, poor man's chicken wings, and don't that look bomb.com. I'm just saying, those chicken legs look fire. This chicken leg and these chicken legs are oven, and the rest of the chicken legs. Our air fryer. Boom. Just look at it. They're so pretty. By the way, I forgot to tell you. Um, the oven chicken legs cooked for about 45 to 50 minutes. I got my three little kiddos here. And we are going to these test. I got some in my Mama's mouth. Mama's food. I got gum in my mouth. Ew. <laughs> okay, taste them chicken legs. It's okay to get dirty with chicken legs. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, That's really good. Holy crap. Ooh. Mm. Like it? Mm. He fainted. Are you going to faint too, Ryder? <laughs> that sounds really good. So... Could you tell, for instance, the kids don't know finances. I'm just saying this for funsies. If we were broke as a joke and I fed you that for dinner, could you tell? <laughs> okay. <I'm back. laughs> you love it? Mm -hmm. Go have your dinner and your french fries. Bye. My go. That's good. I definitely would not feel broke eating this. And that's like the whole goal of these videos for me. You don't want to feel like you're broke because you can't enjoy your dinner. You will not feel broke with this. This is bomb. I'm really, really picky with my chicken. If it is got the slightest discolorment to it, I don't want to eat it, and I never get down to the bone. This is so dang good that I don't care. I'm about to suck the bone like a... It's good. If I could tell you one thing to make that I've made on my channel, it would be those chicken legs. Those are so good that I could see myself hyper fixating on them 
and eating them for weeks every day. <laughs> Since there's a really good sale of Ingles on chicken legs, I'm gonna go get a few more packs. But we're gonna have this tomorrow. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> who broke? Cause I sure didn't feel like I was broke eating that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember this is to get somebody through a temporary situation when they are trying to make it to payday, but make that, that's good. That is good. Get you a chicken leg set. You probably don't even have to be chicken legs, but if, just make it. It's so dang good. <laughs> was it so good? Mm -hmm. It does pass out good. Mm -hmm. Go. Stay positive and kind of see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Give us a thumbs up.